I thought I'd make a video. Um, as you all have um, heard or might have heard, Fred Phelps, the lead, um, the um, leader of the Westboro Baptist Church, has recently passed away. He was on the verge of dying and is now dead. Um, as much of, um, I, how much they annoyed me and how hateful of a group of people the Westboro Baptist Church was and how hateful and angry Fred Phelps was when he was living, I do not hate him because he was a very sick person. Obviously, he had a mental illness because... He did, their, their behavior was just not normal, and, um, a lot of people want to pick it or, um, uh, say much, m bunch of mean things about Fred Phelps, and that's not going to help, and I think, you know, um, making this video to, um, promote priests and I know a lot of people want to make fun of the Westboro Baptist Church and Fred Phelps because of all the um, hateful things they have done to other people, but if we do that, we're just like them. We have to be the bigger person. Like, um, it's kind of like how your, um, when your parents taught you at school, like, if there's a bull, you have to be the bigger person. Well, they're a big bully, so we have to be the bigger person. And we got to recognize, even though he was an angry, hateful person, he just passed away. And um, even people that are hateful and angry grieve. And we just got to be the bigger people and promote peace and love through hate and anger. Because hate and anger and it, hate and anger combined doing doing what um somebody who's hateful and angry the same thing to them just makes them makes us look like them instead we gotta be bigger and show love and kindness to everyone even if we don't want to um i know fred phelps was um a big taboo and he um a lot of people think he probably did brainwash his family into doing those, um, going against, going to picket funerals and things like that, and things like that. But we can't picket his funeral because we'll be just like the Westboro Baptist Church. So, um, it's sad how people can be so immature and so, um rude but we got to be bet because i think in the end we need to be better people and even though we might have not agreed with them we don't want to be like them so um this is a short message and um love each other and bring peace and love Peace and love um, should be stronger than hate and anger. And, and just remember, God loves every one of us. He loves us no matter what. He loves us if we're black, white, purple, pink. He loves us if we're angry and hateful, loving and caring. He loves us if we're gay bisexual, lesbian, pansexual, transgender, um, genderqueer, whatever your, um, wherever your gender is, he loves us, and he wants the best for us, lesbian, gay, transgender, genderqueer, asexual, bisexual, pansexual, and all those shades of rainbows we can be and he loves us whether we're black 
white, Asian, Mexican, Native American, Indian. Um, he loves us no matter what creed we are. He just, he's a loving God. He loves us all. And I guess Fred Phelps didn't understand that God loves us all. And it's hurtful to say he doesn't love that person because we're all sinners and we all have made mistakes. And if um, he didn't forgive our sins and our things we did wrong, Heaven would be an, aw an awful, empty place. And Jesus would not have needed a reason to die on that cross. So, he loves us, no matter what. He, he loves us. And a lot of people get the Bible wrong. He loves the LGBTQ community, no matter what. And I guess Fred Phelps didn't know that. And so, we're not going to... So, it's not good to um, pick at his funeral, even though we feel like, well, we, he really was rude to a lot of um, people, so let's go do it. But that would be basically doing what he did. Love and peace. And that's my cat right there, Mariah. Hi, Mariah! She kind of is the main fixture in here.